Hey guys, it's Kate. I am going to show you an updated room tour. Starting off, of course, right when you walk into my room, I have a little bit of a kind of a cut in wall right here. You can see this is um, my room there, but there's a wall that comes out and I decided to paint it as an accent wall and then put these photos on here as a photo collage wall along with some canvases and I just love how it turned out. As you can see my theming is definitely the gray along with the neutrals gold and silver but then as you'll see in just a second my bedroom um, comforter colors are kind of blues and greens so I'm really excited about it. But coming into my room The bed is definitely the focal point. And I'm gonna give you a closer look here. So continuing to walk, we're going to go to my husband's side of the bed first. We have these collage hanging items above the nightstands. Now the frame and the plant on the nightstand are from Target, as well as the photo collage, what are those called? <laughs> Frames, I guess, that was hanging that I just showed you. All of my furniture is from Haverty's. So you can see down there, we've just got some of my books that he let me um, put on his side there on his nightstand. This is our bed. The bedroom. Um, sorry guys, I guess I'm still not feeling good. I don't know why I'm having uh, like a delay on thinking. The comforter and the bed sheets. Those are all from Target as well as the throw. It's from the brand Threshold if you're curious. What I really love about this bed and why I chose it is because it is a storage bed. So it does have the storage here. I actually don't have anything in them at the moment on either side, but additional storage is always a good thing to have. Moving on to this corner here, I have wanted a chair in this room for so long, and I'm glad I got this one. I got this from Haverty's as well. Just a neutral color, and we'll go with anything, any theme, um, if I ever change the theme of this room. Now this is definitely not meant to stay here. I haven't ha really figured out how I'm going to arrange his pins yet, but if you guys have seen my other room tour, you will have seen these pins. And I actually believe I did a pin collection video that I can link down below. And if you'd like me to do an updated one, just let me know. Here's the side table, also from Haverty's. And that old milk jug I keep up here was actually my grandfather's. And that's what I use to prop my camera on when I'm filming in here. So I just think it's really cool. Um, I just made this actually a couple of days ago. I got the vase, the gold pebbles, and the faux flowers from Hobby Lobby. And I thought it added some nice height and color. Then we have my medals. Again, I believe I have done a medal show and tell, and I'll link that video down below if you're curious. And then on my nightstand, I have another one of these galleries, collage wall pieces. <laughs> I don't know what to call those, you guys. My nightstand there. And of course, I've got some more books down below. These are all of my Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast books. All right, quick tour into the closet. So right when you come in, the left side is mine, and the right side is my husband's. So starting from the bottom down here, I have my shoe storage. And then going up, these are the um, Lauren Conrad sweater bins. That one's actually backwards. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. 
I've got six of those. I actually had her hanging storage unit hanging up here as well, but I just rearrange pretty frequently depending on what's suiting my needs, and I just decided to put them on the built-in shelf instead. And then I do have some flats and my boots continuing on those top two tiers. Then I have my clothes, so that's all of them there. I do sort them by um, color, but as well as, like for my t-shirts, for example, I have them by sleeve length. So in the front where that jean jacket is, that's the start of my shirts. So I've got my jean jacket to kind of um, be a barrier between my dresses and my tops. But so the first one will be like off the shoulder tops, then tank tops, then t-shirts, then three quarter sleeves, then long sleeves and jackets. Same for my dresses. I've got halters, spaghetti strap, tank, t-shirt, three quarter length sleeves, um, and then some jumpsuits in the back. I also love the top of my closet. I tried to make it kind of decorative in here as well. I have our anniversary ears up there, an A and K, some stuffies, my sun hats, and that's actually my wedding dress. I need a better way to store that. I haven't quite figured out what to do with it yet. Down here I have my shorts, skirts, and my um, crinoline for my dapper day dresses. Back here I have all of my purses and I will be filming a purse collection and uploading that separately. Again just trying to keep some decor. That normally isn't here. I was watching videos as I was putting away laundry so that's kind of hanging out but I do have a frame with pictures of our wedding and some birthday cards. Now this is my husband's sign. He's got bins here. This one has his swimsuits, this one has his pajamas, and this one has his basketball shorts. These are all of his tops. And then down here is his uniforms for work. So he doesn't really have many clothing options because he has to wear a uniform to work five days a week. So he doesn't have the free range. Those are our hampers. And this here is actually my grandmother's hope chest that I have um, different like school yearbooks and other important documents in there. But that is my room, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I am so in love with my new furniture. Um, I definitely feel like it feels very grown up. And I just love how it turned out. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.